While it's so great to have you here to talk about your new book, A Student's Guide to Navigating Culture, and I, I found it really interesting. Doug Fields, who we all know from Download Youth Ministry, maybe you've looked at some of his other books. Uh, if if you're, you're in the youth ministry world, one of the things that he said is that this is a must read book for any parent and youth worker who cares about kids and culture. And I would add youth to the mix because this is intended for youth. Uh, and he goes on to stay, say this he says, the stakes are too high and there's just too much to navigate in today's culture without helpful guides who are seasoned with cultural wisdom and biblical knowledge. Thankfully, Walt is that guide who can lead parents, youth workers, and teenagers to travel life well. It's a fabulous resource. And, and as I've had a chance to dive through it, I, I feel like what you've provided is a framework in a lot of different cultural areas. In fact, <laughs> I know on one hand, you, you, you talk about soups and sandwiches, but on another end, you, you talk about gender. Right. Yeah. And, and that is a vast uh, 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 swath of conversation. But can you dive into some of the topics that you do share in this book? Yeah. Yeah. So in the beginning, I, I use uh, soup and sandwiches and, and how that differs from uh, place to place, especially, you know, how we name like I, I'm from Philly. So I talk about the hoagie, the famous hoagie that had its birth in Philadelphia and how as I would travel and look for a hoagie because I like those sandwiches. <laughs> People would look at me like, what in the world are you talking about? Yeah. You know, and every place I went, they had a different name for this particular mm -hmm. sandwich. So that was, you know, a great example. That happened to me when I was in college and went to Western Pennsylvania. They called it something different. And I thought, OK, this is a great example about how cultures are different. And I experienced some culture shock when I moved from one side of the state to another mm -hmm. uh, back way, way back early on in my life. And so you know, that that actually I use that as an illustration of the fact that culture is changing and cultures are different. So I define for kids what culture actually is. And then I talk about how it's like a soup. We swim in it every day. We marinate in it, and especially our kids who are trying to figure out, you know, who am I? That identity formation question. And then what do I believe? That worldview uh, formation question they're especially susceptible to the culture. And so we want them to be aware of not only what culture is, but how it functions in their life and how it influences them. We want to teach them, and that's what this book does, how to manage their culture, shape a response to culture, rather than just you know passively allowing culture to shape and change them. So that's what that is. And at the end, I go through a paradigm in the book about how to do this, how to think critically and Christianly. And in the end, I give two uh, distinct examples of how to think this way. One on the issue of gender, which is huge in our mm -hmm. culture right yeah. now. And then also about social media and how to engage with social media to the glory of God. Well, those aren't easy topics, but, but I'm so grateful that we have someone like you that can help us navigate some of those conversations and specifically to help youth navigate these conversations. Well, could you just uh, let people know where they can grab this book? Yeah, I, I think it's available everywhere. But what we want to do is ask people to yeah, get the book from us because that helps support our ministry here at CPYU. We're selling it in 10 packs. It's not a long book. Uh, and it's a book to be used in groups that youth workers can use. And so if you go to the URL you see at the bottom of the page there uh, where I am sitting, uh, cpyuresourcecenter.org and you'll find a student's guide to navigating culture there. And again, you can order that in 10 packs. I do wanna remind people it's not being released until the beginning of July. We expect it to ship then, but we're taking mm -hmm. pre-orders now. So make sure you get your pre-order in. It is available, cpyuresourcecenter.org, as you see on your screen. Make sure you check it out, uh, order those pre-packs. And I just even have to say this, Doug is one of many that endorse this book that speak highly both of Walt and of this resource. So please check it out, do your pre-order and make this be a resource that your youth ministry uses.